With the winter rain and snow across Oregon, high winds caused major damage to power lines across the state. Alec Nolan has the details for us now. Alec? Lee, I probably would have needed this umbrella earlier today, but right now it's clear. I can tell you that earlier, thousands of customers were left without power due to the storm. I talked with people around Ben to get their reaction. With Central Oregon's first major winter storm of the season comes complications. According to Pacific Power, a downed power line from a fallen tree led to 6,200 customers without power in the Ben Redmond area. COVID-19 has already complicated everyday errands, but add in power outages and a storm, and today it's nearly impossible to get anything done. The intersection of Revere and 3rd Street in Bend was one of the major areas impacted. Grocery stores, gas stations, pharmacies, and even stoplights all coming to a halt. I came to work about 6 o'clock this morning, and uh, I want to say about 6.38, uh, 6.40, it, uh, my boss came around, dropped off some supplies, and it just went off. Aaron Sarmento says the entire station is inoperable during an outage like this. The, the entire system's down. Our, the pumps are down, the turbines are down. We can't pump any gas, uh, can't really do anything. Even if you're paying with cash, the turbines that pump the gas at this Chevron run on electricity. Those looking to pick up groceries at Albertsons Friday morning had to try their luck elsewhere. Customers, like Mark Huber, were unable to pick up medications at Rite Aid, but he, like most, didn't seem too concerned. It limits me a little bit, but I, I could, in an emergency, go across town and get it. Despite the early morning outages, Pacific Power says crews were able to fully restore all units just after 12.30 p.m. And the problem was not just localized to Central Oregon. Damage and outages made their presence felt across the state. Lee, I can tell you that a lot of the people I talked to, employees actually uh, went home a little early despite the power actually being fully restored. <laughs> I can also tell you that if you want to check for updates, check pacificpower.net with an outage map. Lee, back to you.